Hey, what's happening everybody? So last time I made a bunch of mistakes and learned a ton of stuff. I uh, ended up getting uh, the pieces that go back here and back here together. They're down here now. So this time I'm gonna start working on the, uh, I'm gonna finish the cabinet that goes uh, right there and also to the side. And if I have time, connect it to this one. So I ended up making a new jig because that last one kind of sucked. Um, check this out. So this thing holds up both sides of the saw so the saw can't tilt either side. And uh, this is a perfect 90 degree angle with this line that it's running against. And I built it on two by twos instead of one by threes so that I can fit uh, all the sizes of wood I'm gonna be cutting through here. And it's perfectly straight and it's not gonna throw out my back. I actually threw out my back pretty bad uh, last time. Just all the bending over and all that crazy stuff. So it'll be much better this time. So taping this thing out was a really, really smart move. And I've, I've measured out the basic dimensions of both the height and the, uh, I guess, the from bottom to the top and from the here to down there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure out and I'm going to figure out all the different pieces I need of uh, wood for the frame of this thing. And I'm going to write them all down so that I can just make my cuts and... Um, bring them in here and make sure they're all right and then slap them together real quick. All right, so this is working out great. I get perfect even cuts on every single one and I've got this nice little peephole. I can line everything up and then I just take the, um, the square here and I know that this is the piece that's already the right length. I had to cut six and I didn't have six pieces of wood already cut out. So I just line up the square, get them all evened up push them in, make sure everything's straight. And then I look down in here, I just push it over because I know how thick that saw blade is and I know it's gonna touch this end. And so far this has worked out absolutely perfectly. Okay, we're actually getting somewhere now. These pieces are in, uh, the ones back there. And what I've done is the reason why I built these in two separate pieces that aren't connected yet is because this wall is uneven. The, it's hard to explain, but from here, to here is deeper than in the back back there. So what I'm doing is I'm using uh, a straight piece of wood and lining everything up with the inside of the wheel well here because um, that's straight and that's that's where the bed is. It all revolves around the bed. So now uh, these pieces here are going to go in between like this and these are actually going to be up and then there's going to be more right here. So what I need to do is measure what's gonna go, what's gonna be these parts, which actually looks like it's gonna be just like a quarter inch longer than these ones. So I'll make those cuts and I'll build this box real quick. All right, so I've got the legs here done and uh, I'm just gonna install these two cross supports. So there's a few ways to do this, but I am most concerned about the up and down strength, not so much the side to side or the front to back. So the way I'm going to install these is right down in here and I'm going to screw them to the legs and that will give, this is actually the top, that will give that extra strength. And then uh, I'm going to figure out exactly where I want the middle legs to be and I'm going to install some legs in the middle as well. So it'll be super strong up and down. This is really lightweight wood. Uh, I don't think that that's going to be overkill adding another support on here because remember the bed's going to be on here and this is where I'm going to get in and out of bed. So I'm going to have a lot of weight down on it at one time. All right, now we're really getting somewhere. Check this out. This is great. So <clears throat> this piece, I want to further support this thing. Woo, I'm dropping wood. I want to further support this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece straight under here, going all the way down, following this line, because this is where my bench is going to be. And I have it under here, because it'll give it, well, that's the only way to, well, I could either make it attach on the inside of this, but then it would take up more room. And if I put it straight under here, it'll add more strength to this. Because remember, the bed's going to slide on top of this. So there's going to be one straight right here and right here. So I need to mark those points. And then I'm going to connect this piece to this piece. And um, yeah, I think that uh, this one's almost done. This is cool. This is really cool. All right, I got a bunch of little pieces of scrap wood here. So what I'm gonna do is just add some supports in here. These aren't perfectly straight, but nobody's ever going to see them beyond this video, so I'm not too worried about it. So I'm just gonna drop some glue down in here. 
Rub it around. This will just help strengthen them from uh, moving this way. If I happen to wedge anything down in there really hard or something. So these two pieces are clamped together and they're even going this way. So now I've got my block. I already pre-drilled out holes for a pattern and this is going to be really hard with this mic set up. Uh, I did order a new mic so that is on the way. I should be here tomorrow actually. I can't wait because this wired up thing is definitely getting old. So I'm just going to hold this in place. That looks good and I'm holding it against this. And no glue on this one because I want it to be very easy to uh, take apart if I need to. Turns out these screws are just slightly too long. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the orientation. The screws are just slightly too long, so I've got to back them out a little bit. I can always replace them with ones that fit later if I find that they catch on anything. So the reason why I wanted to screw this piece to this piece now is so that the distance between this one and this one is much easier to uh, to get. All right, it's now the next day. I'm gonna try to get a little bit farther before I end this video. Um, basically, I just got back from Lowe's Penis and I got some new wood, I got some new Luan and some more uh, one by threes. So basically what I'm gonna do here is I've got this scrap Luan on. I decided to just put Luan on top of this but I'm going to build another support going down the middle to strengthen it um, just because I already have it. And actually, I price checked the, uh, to see how much it would cost for the 1x3s because I think this is the perfect size for the bed slide out. And it's going to be like 60 bucks just for the wood to go on top. So I'm thinking about using plywood instead because I'd save a ton of money doing that way. Um, and it would be thinner. And I don't know if it would be lighter or not. I think it might be. But yeah, we'll see. Okay, so I just cut this piece to fit. Now I got glue on both ends, and uh, I'm just gonna drill some pilot holes here. This is not a science. Nice big bat. All right, so now I'm gonna drop some screws in here. So now I'm gonna take my piece of glue on. Nice and flat on this side, and just set it on top, get it all lined up. There's another piece that's going to go right here, but I'll worry about that in a minute. And I don't care about the finish of it because this is going to be painted because um, I'm going to be using it as a cooking surface, so it might get wet. So I want to make sure it's painted. All right, the scrap piece fits great. Now I'm just going to take my handy dandy pen here and trace the underside. I decided to cut out these cross supports and I put a little wood glue on them and I'm using this piece of wood to level with the top of this. Uh, just because this edge where the Luan's going to be, will it'll, it'll be easy to break off if I don't have pieces of wood here. So I just used scrap wood and I just line it up with this top piece so that it's all square. It fits nice. Boom. There we go. Okay, so I sanded off all the edges and... Uh, now I'm just test fitting it and making sure that it's perfect and it looks good. This is going to be a nice little eating platform for me. I might take down these edges a little bit more because they are a little sharp and they don't match the rounded edges of this wood. Okay, now it fits great. I got it all sanded down. Good to go. Now I'm going to get the wood glue in here. First brush off all this dust. Cobber sounds. I'm just gonna smear this stuff around a little bit. Now I got the the straightest cut in the front because that's the part you're gonna see. 
and then the one in the back is just a little bit rough. And that's okay because another piece of wood's gonna go right here. Just wanna get this thing lined up perfectly. And there we go. Okay. So because this part's gonna be so visible, if I can find my finishing nails. I thought I just had them here. I'm using little finishing nails in this one. So I'm just gonna drop them every here and there. The end of this hammer does not have knurls in it. It's really smooth. This I think this is called a finishing hammer. And this is if this had like all the really like rough things in it, it would tear up this wood really bad. So I'm using this really nice hammer for this. Now that this piece is in, oh, that was so close. I almost knocked over my camera. Oh my God, that would have sucked. Okay, so now that this piece is in, um, and I've got everything lined up here exactly how I want it, I can start measuring, because I know that the, the top of the bed, whatever I use for the slide out, and there's gonna be a slide out, it's gonna rest right on top of this bad boy. So that means that the height of this back bed box needs to be exactly, like the very top needs to be exactly level with this. So we've got exactly 16 inches. That makes things much easier. <laughs> okay, so I'm checking the ends. I'm gonna build the, uh, the frame for the, the main box where the bed goes. And I'm checking the ends to make sure that they're perfectly straight and square. And this one is not. So I'm gonna draw a little X on here. Just so I know, this one's not perfectly square. Because this floor is totally flat and the boards I'm gonna set on top are totally flat, I wanna make sure these cuts are perfect. So I don't want some wobbly, janky ass bed rocking all over the place when I'm getting it on, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, what do we got? 16 inches. So I've decided to use these uh, two by twos for the legs of the main bed area and I'm recycling them from my last build. And 16 inches, oh, and I went ahead and I cut the ends with this tool to make sure that they are perfectly straight. So now I'm just gonna measure them out, measure one of them out because I only need to do one. All right, so I got my legs here, and I uh, just measured the distance between here and here. That's 49, so I'll cut out two pieces of 49 inch, two by two. Let's go right here and up there. And then I gotta measure the distance from there to here. I could build these legs kind of flush with this, or I could move them back. I want the wood that goes on top to go all the way back to here so I have the most room up there. And uh, I need the distance from here all the way back to be half of the bed as well, which takes me all the way back to this point, which if I hold this here, that actually leaves a ton of space with the uh, door closed. There's three inches on the inside, and I'm probably about two up here. So I might cut the end piece curve so that pillows and blankets don't fall down in here. And I tell you what, I am so happy with this new jig. All of these cuts are perfectly square and straight, and the lengths are all exactly perfect. I am so glad that I did that. So now I'm going to start putting together this main platform for the bed. And yeah, I reused as much wood as possible. So I'm using this flat surface to make sure that everything is nice and square. I'm just going to drop a little wood glue on here. Out. It's all dry and crusty on the top. And there's going to be more to this frame than just these four pieces. A lot more. Um, I need to get some cut triangle parts. I don't have a chop saw, so I can't do it myself. Unless I make some new kind of jig. Um, but having some triangles right in here, we'll make sure these are super, super strong. So whenever you're crossing wood like this, no, not that kind of wood, you freak. Uh, I drilled these ones nice and low so that when I connect this piece to this piece, I can drill nice and high and have plenty of wood in between the two screws and not have to worry about crossing screws. 
All right, so now that this is in place, I can accurately measure the cabinets that are gonna go over here and do that well. Like I said, this needs to be reinforced quite a bit. It's definitely not strong enough to put a bed on top of and lay on. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Uh, next episode, I'll definitely be finishing up at least the framing for the cabinets that go on the side. And um, yeah, and getting this thing much closer to where I want it. And I'll probably build the top part as well. So I will see you there. Love yourself.